Hey everybody, this is Dr. Dane. Welcome to this installment of the Torah Consciousness from lovely cold Cologne, Germany. Or as they say here, Köln. So, when I arrived I thought they would all smell a lot like Cologne, but they don't. Anyway, I digress. So, uh, I, I'm starting the video that way a little bit to distract you a bit because what I'd actually like to talk about is the recent events in Las Vegas. Um, now it's funny because some of you will be seeing this video very soon. Some of you will be seeing this video years in the future. And yet what I'm looking at with the recent, what they're calling massacre in Las Vegas is what call to action is that for us? In other words, if we're here desiring a kinder world, a more inclusive world, a less insane world, what does that tell us? What do we need to do? What do we need to choose and what are we and what can we choose that we have not been choosing that would truly create a world that we would like to see? Now, on the one hand, you know, a lot of people go into the trauma and drama and the, oh my God, the world is going to hell in a handbasket. And I understand that point of view. I mean, if you look at the terrorism around the world, the killing that occurs on a daily basis, it looks like the insanity is just growing but my sense is the insanity is growing because we are shining the light on it with our choices for more consciousness, more awareness, more kindness, more joy, more gentleness, more inclusion, and more caring. So if you look at it as that, and you look at and go, okay, this is actually a wake-up call. Because when I look at that, you know, a lot of people, of course, in Access Consciousness are going, what can we do to change this? And I'm looking at it going, well, what can we be that will change it not just for this event, but the fact that we allow it to occur on our planet at all. You know, what steps can we take that are practical? You know, maybe calling your politician and going, hey, no more assault weapons. I don't know. That may be a practical step. Or maybe talking to people that you love and care about and letting them know that you care about them and, and asking their points of view on these different things and seeing where they stand so you can start to start a conversation about something different that might be possible. So my question to you is this, if you were a tuning fork of possibilities, what would you be choosing right now? What do I mean by a tuning fork of possibilities? Well, we all know how a tuning fork works, right? You hit one tuning fork, you set it next to another tuning fork, and the other tuning fork vibrates to the first tuning fork that's vibrating. That's why it's called a tuning fork because you tune to the vibration. Well, if you were a tuning fork of possibilities, what would you choose? Everything that doesn't like to perceive it, to know it, to receive it, and to actually get to be it, we destroy and create it, please. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pot, call nine, trust boys and beyonds. So here's the thing. In these tumultuous times in which we live, there may be totally different possibilities available. What if this that is occurring around us is our wake-up call to demand of us that we be who we are and know what we know and choose what we can choose to create a difference in the world. You know, for those of us that are in a sense pacifists, like, and I don't even actually like that word, for those of us that are not interested in jumping into the trauma and drama, those of us that are not interested in, okay, this latest political thing and this latest world thing and this, you know, we kind of like, eh, eh, for those of us that are like that, where we're not interested in jumping into the trauma and drama that the rest of the world chooses, what are we and what difference are we that we can choose that will create something different on our planet? See, we all live on this planet together. I know somewhere you know this, but we keep acting like we have no voice. We keep acting as though our voice doesn't matter and our awareness doesn't matter because so many people are fighting so hard against so many things. But what if it's our quiet, calm, still voice that creates stillness in the tumultuous times of the realities we're living in. And what choice can you make that will make things greater rather than lesser? What choice can you make that will make things easier? And what choice can you make that will bring peace and calm where other people don't realize it can exist? So everything that does not allow you to be aware of that, everything you've done to buy into the mediocrity and the, the idea that evil is taking over the world, Everything you've done to 
buy that there's some corruption in your being and your knowing that doesn't allow you to contribute something different. Will you now destroy and uncreate it, please? Right, wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. So what I really want to ask is, what is it you know? And what is it you are that if you would choose to be it and know it, would change this across our planet? Everything that doesn't allow it, right, wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. And you know, it's interesting because after the attacks in Paris that occurred many months ago, there was a gentleman on Facebook that wrote a post that was picked up by the news and I saw him reading it and it was absolutely brilliant. It was a French man who his wife was killed in the attacks and he had a young child and he wrote a letter to the attackers and he said, just so you know, you will not win. He said, you will not get me to hate you. I will teach my son not to hate you. We are going to go to the park tomorrow as we do every day and we are going to live our lives and we are going to love each other and we are going to care for each other as we have every day of our lives. And yes, you may have taken my wife, you may have taken his mother, but you will not get me to hate you because if you do, then you have won. And so what I look at is, what is it that we can be that is so different we've never even considered it? What is it we are and can be that is so unfathomable that does not draw us into the resistance and the reaction and the hatred that allows us to be a voice and a space for a different possibility. This is who I know you are, my beautiful friends. You've been watching the Tour of Consciousness, some of you for many years. What if you'd recognize that the space of being that you are, the space of allowance and the willingness to look at that and not resist and react, but go, what can I be that will help change this? That is the question. What can you help be? And what are you right now that you haven't acknowledged that will change this for all of us? Everything that doesn't allow you to perceive, no be, and receive it, right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shirts, boys and beyonds. This is going on all around our world right now. And to act like I am not affected would, would be so untrue. I see this as our brothers and our sisters around the world who are willing to give up their lives to wake the rest of us up. Will you please wake up to being what you are, being who you are and being what you know in this world so that we can create the world we know is possible. And I'm not talking about eliminating people. What I'm talking about is eliminating the separation that allows us to exist eliminating the judgment, eliminating the points of view, the right and the wrong, and allowing us to actually be the kind, caring, contributory, creative creatures we actually are. So, everything that doesn't allow you to perceive, to know, to receive and to be what you are, that creates a different possibility. Can we undo, let it go, and destroy and uncreate it now? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. Please look, there will be more ahead on this particular subject and what we can do and be to create something different. Please know how very grateful I am that you are in the world and you are looking for a different possibility. And I know that together we can create it. And you know what else? It takes you. It takes me. It takes all of us. You truly are a contribution to this world, my beautiful friends. Please know that. What if you truly being you are the gift, the change, and the possibility this world requires? Thank you. Bye.